All right, here we are. It is the 15th of December, and if you listen to the Eshelmania TV vlogcast here on Eshelmania TV, then you know that I promised that come December 15th, we would be revealing some of these new products that Ego has coming out. We wanted to do it earlier in the month because we had some information about this stuff, and it was a little bit fresher in my brain, uh, you know, after I had some of the stuff explained to me and, and some of the features and specs and stuff like that told to us but uh they they wanted us to wait and hold off they said december 15th after that you know you're good to go as soon as that hits december 15th talk about it all you want you can show it all you want just please hold off until december 15th so here we are now this is not all of the products that ego has coming out in uh 2022 but these are the coolest ones and the 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 most popular ones I think that they're going to have out there. And we don't have any real firm uh, release dates or anything. And there are a couple other ones that are kind of up in the air yet as to when they'll come out. There's a few leftovers from last year, I believe that were supposed to come out that didn't come out and we'll be seeing them here in 2022, but we're just going to jump right in here to the ones that we think you guys are really going to love coming out in 2022. And we'll start with the all new string trimmer they have. It is the model ST1620T, ST1620T, the Line IQ string trimmer. Now, this one's really cool because if you like the uh, telescopic trimmer that they have now, this is going to be very similar to that. This is going to be a, a trimmer with two speeds you're gonna have the high and low just like the uh, telescopic one they have now it's gonna have the telescopic shaft but it's gonna be a carbon fiber shaft it's gonna have the power load head just like the other carbon fiber shaft trimmer and just like the other telescopic trimmer but it's gonna have what they call line iq and that is where it will constantly keep your trimmer line at that maximum allowable length you know coming out of the head so you're not have, you're gonna you're not gonna have to keep bumping this thing and banging it on the ground to get your trimmer line to come out. It's automatically gonna sense that you need more trimmer line, and it's just gonna let it come out there and stop it on its own. So this is going to eliminate a whole lot of stuff that people had issues with. If you think back, like let's go back about five years ago, right? You know what were the the biggest complaints about string trimmers? They're either too long or too short for some people. There's nothing in between. Solve that because this is telescopic. You can shorten it up. You can lengthen it out. They hated to take the trimmer head apart to rewind a line. Solve that. You push the end in, pull the other end out through, push a button, does it for you. So really the last thing that they had was banging the head on the ground to try to get more trimmer line to come out. It would jam up and all that stuff. No need to worry about that because now it's going to do it for you. This here is, it's like every complaint you could have. Oh, you also add in there the carburetor problems and stuff like that. If you really want to get into it, gone with this trimmer here, the ST1620T Line IQ string trimmer from Ego coming out in 2022. I don't have a number for the kit that ST1620T, that is for the trimmer itself but I'm sure they'll be selling this in a kit with probably a 2.5 amp hour battery and, uh, and charger. So we'll move on from there to another one that's going to be very similar sounding and looking to a current product in our lineup. And this new model is the CS1610 Chainsaw. You probably guess because it starts with a 16. This is going to have a 16 inch bar on it. You might be saying, well, They've already got a 16 inch chainsaw. Are they replacing it with this one? Not quite. This one is going to be a little bit different. The big thing with this one is they're saying that it is going to have the same power output as a 40 CC gas powered chainsaw. And when I originally was told about this one, you know, the, the paperwork and what I was hearing was saying, you know, it's going to be the only one in North America that has that. I'm like, oh, oh pump the brakes there because Husqvarna has had one where they make the same claim. They've had that out for, well, we're going into two years on that now. Uh, we've had some, you know, we have a couple of videos showing that one in action and stuff, but this is going to be a big deal for Ego. You know, their, their other chainsaws, the 14, the 16, the 18, 
they've sold really well. They've held up really well. And they're consistent. That was the biggest thing. They were consistent. You know, they didn't have the high chain speed. They were just, they, they cut, you know, they did what they were supposed to do. But now you're going to crank up that power a little bit more. You're going to be able to cut a little bit faster. You're going to be able to cut some stuff that maybe you struggled with with those other saws before. And that is going to put these, these chainsaws at a whole nother level. I don't have a confirmed price on it yet, but what I was seeing as the... The uh, suggested price on this saw with a battery and a charger. I mentioned that Husqvarna has one. It's supposed to be, you know, equivalent to that 40 cc gas powered output. This is going to blow them out of the water price wise. I mean, it is going to be significantly less money. So, again, it, it's a uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this does in the market and how much market share it eats up. Next product up that's really cool, and <clears throat> this is one that I. I've seen a bunch of people, you know, uh, in the uh, social media groups when they have that weekly, hey, you know, what's a product you'd like to see them make? You always get this one brought up. This is going to be a job site light. It's a, an LED light. It's the LT1000. I'm guessing they're probably going to have this in a kit. I don't have a number or anything like that for a kit, but you can see it's got four LED panels. And what's really cool about it is they they fold and flip around so you can have light going in just about every different direction and then when you're all done with this thing it folds up into a nice little cube makes it easier to store makes it easy to transport so this is going to be very handy to have out there on a job site this is going to be handy to have for your outdoor get-togethers if the power goes out you know you you have a power outage you pull this out you pull your ego nexus power station out and you're good to go for a while um you know same thing with at the job site and with your outdoor get-togethers, your cookouts, your tailgating, and all that stuff. Um, no price on this one yet either, but you can see it's a pretty cool piece of equipment, and I'm sure it's going to be very popular, especially for the construction guys. You know, the uh, the Ego Nexus Escape and the Ego Nexus Power Station, they've been been two really popular units already that, uh, that guys have liked to use out there on the job. This is just going to go hand-in-hand hand with those two, and... Uh, be another accessory that if you've already got the batteries you're going to get a lot of use out of this speaking of another one for the job site and the outdoor get togethers they have a, a new fan coming out that's right a fan the fn 1800 misting fan so this will be great for you know your tailgate parties your cookouts your picnics uh, in the, the hot summer months, you know, you're working outside or you have a family get together, uh, you're having a cookout, any of that stuff. And this will be good for on the job site. And there's, there's no part number for a kit that I could find on this one yet either. Um, I'm sure though, I'm sure they'll probably have to have this one available with a battery and charger because guys are going to want to buy this one up to use out on the job site right away. So this is going to be a cool one here. We're excited to get some more information about this one. I uh, haven't seen a price on this yet. I'm sure it's going to be up there. You know, it's going to be more than your average electric box fan that you plug into the outlet. That's for sure. But it's going to be a very handy unit. You know, you're going to be able to take it anywhere, use it anywhere. It'd be great for camping, uh, you know, great for on vacation. So another one that people will get a lot of use out of. So next up on the list is one that I... I wasn't seeing too much in the groups because everybody was pretty satisfied, I think, with what was out there from Ego as far as this type of equipment. But the landscapers were the ones saying, hey, you know, uh, their competition has a leaf blower that's more powerful than theirs. And they'd say, well, just wait. Give it time. It's coming. It's coming. And now it's going to be coming in 2022. And that is the LB7650. 765 CFM handheld leaf blower. The kit number for this blower with battery and charger, LB7654, uh, and I don't have it here in front of me, but this thing is going to be at an excellent price, and I, I, I hate that I don't have the confirmation on this yet, but I believe that they're actually going to have a kit for this where you're going to buy the leaf blower, charger, and you're going to get two batteries with it, and it's still going to be at a ridiculously good price compared to buying everything individually. 
So that's something you want to keep an eye on. You know, it, it's always better to buy this stuff in a kit. Even if you don't need the extra charger, you say, oh, I don't need the other battery. You always need another battery. You can always find use for another battery. If you don't, you can always sell them or give them to somebody else at Christmas time or whatever. You know, it's that stuff's not going to go to waste. Believe me. But yeah, getting back to this leaf blower, 765 CFM. If you're familiar with the 530 CFM blower, the LB5300, and if you've used it and then you use the 650 CFM leaf blower from Ego, the LB6500, that difference in power that you feel going from the 530 CFM leaf blower to the 650 CFM leaf blower, that's the difference in power. That it's it's that much of a difference in power between the 650 and his new 765. Think about that. That's how much more you're going to get that much more power. You know, the percentage is pretty close going from 530 to 650 and then from 650 up to 765. So it, this is going to be a good, strong leaf blower. If you have a backpack link, if you have a seven and a half amp hour battery, a 10 amp hour battery, or maybe one that's a little bit bigger, uh, you're going to be able to get a lot of runtime out of this thing. And it's going to be way better than the Ego 600 CFM backpack leaf blower that's already out there. Yeah, price wise, I mean, too, you had the backpack link and all that stuff. It'll cost you more. But if you got a lot of leaves to move, this is going to be a way better uh, deal for you. You know, you can still use this one with a bigger battery right in the machine, but it's going to get heavy. It's going to wear your arm out. It's going to wear your wrist out. But again, um, this is going to be an excellent deal, and it's going to be a it's going to be a strong one out there in the market. That's for sure. I off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody else that has anything higher than 750 CFM in a battery powered leaf blower at the moment. So we'll see. This could be the one that's, you know, king of the mountain here for at least a little while in the handheld battery powered leaf blowers. How about a 12 amp hour battery? That's what they got coming out here in 2022. It's uh it's amazing because when they came out with a 10 amp hour battery and you know right away you want to try that thing. Does it actually fit in that mower? Does it actually fit in this, you know, in a snow blower? Can you really get that in there? Yeah. It's <laughs> unbelievable. It was it was a little tighter than the 7.5, right? And you're thinking that's got to be it, you know. No way they can come up with a bigger battery that's going to last longer and they're still going to be able to say, yeah, it fits in everything. Somehow they found a way. They've got some magic cells in there and um Pretty sure that this is probably going to be as big as they can go uh, with a with a battery before it just won't fit into some of the existing product out there. But the 12 amp hour battery will be available. It's going to be the BA 6720T 12 amp hour battery, uh, about the same physical size as the 10 amp hour battery. It'll weigh slightly more, but yeah, it's. It, it's supposed to be able to fit in all the existing products out there. So the older mowers, the older snow blowers, all that stuff should fit right in there. All right. Well, you're probably liking the sounds of that 12 amp hour battery, but at the same time, you're probably questioning, is that just going to be a spare battery? Is that why they're coming out with that? Or is there actually a piece of equipment that's going to use them and going to come with those batteries? Yeah, it's the second of that. It's going to be a brand new model of zero turn, the ZT. 5207L, and it's actually going to come with six of these 12 amp hour batteries. It's going to be a lot like the 42 inch zero turn, which was a very, very popular. Um, the, the controls and the body are basically the same thing as the 42 inch. You know, it's going to have the suspension seat. It's going to have the, the um, screen there with all your menu selections and stuff on it. You're going to be able to change different settings right there on the menu screen. But 52 inch deck and it's going to be a fabricated deck. So that'll be interesting to see because if you're not familiar with, with mower decks and the importance of airflow through a mower deck, it's going to be interesting to see how this one works because when you have a stamp deck, you know, you can easily add in those contours and, and some of the baffling into the stamping process. When you have a fabricated mower deck, that means it's bent and welded by hand any kind of baffling you have to build yourself and weld into that thing and bend into it, you know? So it takes a little bit more research and development to be able to make one that works effectively 
to be able to discharge all your grass clippings in an effective way, you know, not just clog up. So speaking of blowing the grass clippings and everything out of there, it'll be interesting to see too uh, on the collection system because as of right now, they have the 42 inch uh, zero turn, which worked great with that two bag collection system. 52 inch cut, not gonna work so great with a two bag collection system. It's gonna be filling those bags up really quick and you're gonna waste a lot of battery power driving back and forth to the area where you dump your grass clippings at. So we'll see what comes about with that. Um, a couple other things here with the, uh, the new zero turn, it's obviously going to, it's going to have larger rear tires, larger front tires. There was talk at one point I was hearing about putting flat free front tires on it. Haven't got a confirmation on that one yet, but, uh, it, it looks really sharp with these bigger front caster wheels on it and uh, the larger back tires compared to the 42 inch. It, it looks like it's got a, a good, um, a good stance. So it looks very stable, you know, like it might be a little bit easier to use on some inclines than the 42 inch was, but we'll go down through some of the other features they have listed here for it. Uh, equivalent to a 25 horsepower gas engine. Uh, of course, like I said, it's a fabricated mower deck. It's going to have three blades on it because it's a 52 inch cut. Can't really do that with two blades. So you're going to have that extra, electric motor under there compared to the 42 inch that only had the two electric motors on the, the mower deck. You got the three driving modes, just like the 42, uh, the adjustable suspension seat, just like on the 42, the LCD customizable driving dashboard, 10 position cutting height adjustments, one and a half inches to four and a half inches. You know, that's just like on the, uh, the 42 inch, uh, the led headlights, uh, Bluetooth enabled with connect app, variable speed, three miles an hour to eight miles an hour. That one arrow is kind of curious about too, because that's the same speed rating that they have listed for the 42 inch zero turn. So I would think that this would actually probably go a little bit faster because you have larger rear tires on it. So it might be closer to eight and a half to nine miles an hour, just because there's larger rear tires. Weather resistant construction, and of course, compatible with all their Ego batteries. Uh, yeah, this is going to be something that a lot of people are really going to be looking for because the 42 inch was a good one for the average homeowner, you know, uh, half an acre to maybe three quarters of an acre yard. You get up there much bigger than that in a 42 inch, it's going to take you some time to get everything mowed if, you know, you got big open areas in your, your property. 52 inch. A lot of landscapers were talking about, you know, if they were going to go with something battery powered, obviously they'd want 52 inch, 54 inch or 60 inch. You know, that's they would they would want to start no smaller than a 52. So any of you dealers out there, this is going to be a great one for your landscaping guys, your your smaller outfits to get one out there. Let them try it out. Um, yeah, if you have a, a larger property, say an acre, acre and a half and you're looking for a battery powered mower, you don't want to waste all day out there mowing on a 42 inch. Now there's a viable solution, 52 inch cut, fabricated deck. You know, this is going to be a, a very well built machine. Big thing with this though, is just like last year, the 42s, if you want one and you see one, you take it for a test drive. It feels right. It looks right. It has everything you want and it's everything you thought it'd be. Don't wait around for it because it's going to be gone. A limited number of these, <clears throat> they're already spoken for. Um, all the dealers have placed their orders already, and it's going to be one of those deals where, you know, two, three months into the summer, when uh, when a dealer doesn't have any more sitting on their showroom floor, they're not getting any more. Same thing as it was last year, the 42s. You know, if you're an Ego fan and you follow some of the social media groups for the Ego battery-powered equipment, you know how quick this stuff sells. You know how fast the people sell out of it. The dealers, the uh, the the box stores, uh, your your Ace Hardwares and all that stuff. This stuff moves very fast. You know, um, if you want it, grab it while you can. We're seeing that again right now with the snowblowers. You know, two stage snowblowers are just disappearing left and right. There's no more to buy. You know, uh, they've already been spoken for. Dealers put their orders in a long time ago. So did the box stores. 
what was built and what was bought by the dealers and the box stores and the other retailers, that was it. You know, there wasn't any just warehouse after warehouse of spares sitting around or anything. So, you know, next year, make sure to get on it right away. If you're interested in this, keep after your dealer. Say, hey, let me know when you get one in. I want to test drive it. I'm really interested. You know, let them know you're serious. So that way they can put your name on one and hold one for you. So don't want to keep rambling on here with this, but we're pretty excited about a lot of these products that are coming out. Um, for me, I, I'm really excited to try that that new 16-inch chainsaw. I have the Husqvarna one here, you know, the 540 IXP from Husqvarna. We've, like I said, we've got a couple of videos of that thing. And um, it's going to be exciting to see how well the one from Ego that's supposed to have the, the 40cc gas-powered equivalent power compares to the one from Husqvarna that making, makes the same claim. Um, the, uh, the 765 CFM leaf blower, I think that's really cool. Honestly, our... Our 530 CFM leaf blower from Ego does a great job for our, our handheld stuff. Um, yeah, we got a lot of leaves. So we're we're still just going from like small handheld to big backpack. We have no in between there. But uh, it's very possible we, we might end up with one of these 765 CFM leaf blowers because of the awesome deal that I was hearing that they're going to have on the package Uh for the for the kit with the blower charger and possibly two batteries in it um yeah stay tuned for that one the fan is going to be another cool one the work light is one that we might look into we use a lot of led floodlights and stuff like that now with our our nexus escape and our nexus power station and it works great but you know if you can just take that thing out there that little cube out there and slap a battery in it and you can get light and all those different angles that's going to be a, a way easier to go, a way to go. So uh, we do a lot of stuff outdoors in the summertime and the spring and the fall. So I think that'd be cool to have one of them, maybe two of them. You know, we got a spot way down back where we have some bonfires like that and stuff. Set up two or three of them to light your path on the way down there. Real easy to do. Something pretty simple. Uh, I can see there being a lot of uses for that light. Uh, the string trimmer. Yeah, we, we've got the carbon fiber shaft one, the original one. Still holding up great. We don't really have a need for anything, uh, any of those features that are on the new one. But I know a lot of people out there are going to really like that thing. It's going to be a popular unit as well. So 52-inch zero turn. I'm excited to try that out and just see how it compares to the 42-inch. Um, yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming from Ego. These are the main ones. And... Uh, We'll see what, what the spring brings and how soon the stuff is available to the dealers. I know that we've already put our orders in for all this good stuff coming out. And uh, we're just waiting for it to arrive so we can show you how some of it works and you know get you some up-close uh, reviews and pictures of it and see some of the, the cool stuff that's involved with them. But that's going to do it for this video here. Again, I just wanted to make sure to get something out there for you guys to tell you, hey... You know, you were asking for this stuff. You were talking about this stuff. Here it is. This is what's on the plans and in the books for 2022. You know, like the 52-inch zero-turn mower, you guys are waiting for something bigger. Here it is. Um, the, the work light was another one that I heard a lot of people talking about. So there it is. We had to hold off until December 15th to be able to talk about this. And we promised you guys we would let you know. And this is it. So... If you want to stay in the loop as to what's going on with Ego products and some of the other cool stuff that we get involved with, best way to do that, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching.